Hello everyone, this is the LEGO City Fire Command truck for 2023. This comes with 502 pieces and I built the whole thing live over on Twitch. It cost me $65 US, 65, and you can find the product tagged on the video if you'd like to see more about it. Um, as you can see, this is a pretty substantive thing. It does have two side builds, but those are, well, they're not all that much. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time looking at them and talking about them. And we'll come back to those later, but I wanted to make sure you got it. First, uh, just a good overview of how substantive this really is, especially with the minifigure there on the screen. As a matter of fact, let me just bring this back down to just these, just minifig and that. It stands up quite high, so it's good for off-road duty but it's got the thickness with a mostly eight wide build a lot of it is six wide much of it is eight wide and there's a lot more to this than meets the eye at first the cab is inspired by a unimog i would say is pretty clear and i think it does a good job of capturing that sort of shape semi-realistically even with a snorkel over here on the side bull bar on the front and that is a printed emblem on the front as well i like the squared off uh, fenders that are used and they also I also have the suggestion of steps for both ends of the crew cab. This does hold only two figures inside of there, but they've got some stuff on the outside as well. That's good. You, can, you got a clip on either side to hold on to minifig accessories. And up front, this works. You can actually connect this to things. It's got a real spool there. And you can potentially take this off because this uses the little clip system that they've started to lean into this year. So you can swap something else potentially in for that, including from other sets, but I'm just gonna move that off to the side for right now. Uh, this is the vibrant yellow color. If you had any questions about that whatsoever, the highlighter yellow, sort of very, very bright color. In my opinion, they're not using too much of it here. They're using a good amount. Up top is the modern system or stud-based replacement for the Technic Competition Cannon. These things work very well. It's spring-loaded. You put something in there and fire it off. And I'll show you exactly what you put in there a little bit later on. We've had some of those before. We've got actually a couple different colors of them in this set. Uh, corrugated steel piece used here. A couple of those included in the set in the red color. And about now, it's just about time for me to start taking things apart to show you really what you get with this truck because it's somewhat somewhat deceptive first of all i'm going to take and open this up just to let you see that there are a couple of additional compartments right here that top one has what pearl colored yes pearl colored transparent kind of milky white milky clear studs and then down here we've got the trans light blue colored tiles so those can be used in shooters which we haven't seen just yet but to the sides following that same color scheme here is something in trans light blue and here's something in the opal or pearlescent color or you could call it iridescent so these two are color matched to the other things you've seen so far this represents water and this represents foam so you can take on different types of fires i think this is one of the first times that lego has ever explicitly called to the forefront the the fact that not all fires are are fought the exact same way so you use these up here unfortunately they do include only one of each but they do at least integrate in nicely and that's a brand new color for this piece to again to fire this off you just push the button i'm not going to actually shoot it because it's just going to go off screen but this does at least have range to shoot down up and all around 360 degrees well while i'm opening stuff up back here this gave me access to the roof so you can get up to the roof for minifigs but it's also just a ladder which can in turn be set up like so. And it's a self-supporting ladder. <laughs> so it doesn't need any additional pieces. You can put this on the ground and then firefighter can go up there. At least, at least one story worth of, of height can be climbed. Also, on the top, you can see something right here. This is a quadcopter. Well, this is where the shooters come into play because there are two of them there. One of them is loaded up with the, the foam equivalent. One of them is loaded up with the water equivalent. This is a pretty straightforward thing, but you know, there's not a whole lot you do with it other than it's a little bit awkward to put your fingers in there between the, the blades, but you can fire these off, which is, which is all good and fine. That's another uh, printed piece right there. And then this section of the truck just behind the cab also opens up. It may look like there are hinges right here, but those are just part of how the construction works. They don't actually open, but this section opens up and in here, you have another remotely operated thing, this time strictly land-based. 
and it's got just four little wheels and tires on it, and it has a manipulator. Once again, the printed piece, you know, basically robot arm. And this has a pretty good range of motion. It's short, but it has a pretty good range of motion, and you can use that uh, to scout into areas that are particularly dangerous or you don't know about. You know, it's, I mean, it's, it's a robot arm, right? It doesn't have a shooter on it. However, check this out. This comes off using that same clip system. Okay, so we've already seen that this will work with that. So you could potentially use this for some remote recovery efforts, but I just mentioned there's no shooter on this. <laughs> well, you see, it's a system within a system. It's a good idea. And uh, I look forward to seeing more things using that sort of system. That's a very respectable amount of stuff and functionality to get out of one single truck. And of course, again, each of these things can be put on here, here, or the front of this, and potentially other things in the future. Let's look inside the cab too. So as usual, whole roof comes off in the front, person sits there centered, and there's just a steering wheel. In the back, there's room for the all-important coffee mug. Sometimes we're not seeing that in city these days. Good to see it back and a computer with a printed screen there. So you could be getting data from dispatch, uh, you know, looking up information about the building that you're about to go fight a fire at, or uh, getting additional data back from one of the remotely operated vehicles that this can deploy. Of course, these doors, as you can see, are also able to open. A lot of people find those to be very important. To me, they just provide really nice looking texture. Here's one of the side builds, which has a simple action feature of simply being able to knock it down and then it's on fire. So the box is now on fire and you try to shoot at this to make the fire go away, preferably using the larger shooter from the top of the truck so that you can actually knock it off. It may take a number of tries, but the idea is eventually it'll knock the, the fire off. This one, yeah, this one's a little bit questionable to have the most success with this. You probably want to offset the position of the fire, which wasn't made particularly clear. So it's only connected with a single stud there, and then it's a lot easier. Yeah, it still, still has a little bit too much clutch power, in my opinion. In contrast, this small setting is very straightforward. It just has a suggestion of a tree with a nice dark green leaf piece, at least. And that falls down, traps the poor hair, and the whole thing catches fire. Because, you know, that's that's what happens. Imagine it's a lightning strike or something like that. This is an easy target. It's, you just you just knock it off, right? This could maybe even be knocked off with the, with the stud shooters. If you hit it enough, you hit it just right, you kind of get it to shift off. Or if you hit it right at the top with enough force, it could potentially go off. But Inside of this, you've got the, the hair there, and that's just the medium nougat color, which is a nice neutral tone. These are the three minifigures, and it's always nice to get more variety for firefighters and firefighting equipment. This one here has all silver pieces for the body, legs, and arms there, and that looks pretty good to me to represent the, the uh, fire or heat shielded equipment and this print works nicely for a remote controller for one of the remotely operated things that's included in the set dude on the right has got his ponytail which is probably involved in <laughs> something getting caught up that causes the pole to come down and then starts the fire it does have an alternate face there no alternate face for this firefighter but i wanted you to see the full print around the back which is also nice Finally, these are the only leftover pieces. Thank goodness we do get one more of the pearly or iridescent colored clear stud. And the set had four stickers. These are clear backed. $65 US feels like a bit much, but at least there's a lot here. I would like to see at least one more minifigure for that price though. And probably just one more side build, something really interactive. Also, you know, something that has the simplicity of of success of working with this one, but maybe a little bit more of a city setting, uh, just something a little bit more porta potty that catches on fire or something like that. You know, just something that you would also want to use elsewhere in a city setting, I think would be nice. This is just rotated around. However, this is 55 euros is the base price, 50 pounds UK. I think each of those is a little bit better than you, the US price. If you can find this at a discount, great. If you love it, you need it. I think that 65 is not a, a total ripoff. It's definitely better to get it on a discount, but what's here is good. You can feel this. If you pick it up, you can feel there's some serious weight to it. And the build techniques were nice for a lower end kit. 
you know, this is a seven plus set. Uh, I think it could be, be built by a six, maybe even five year old, you know, maybe with a little bit of assistance, not too much, but there are some interesting stuff there with the sideways building and you know, how many things fit together. It feels very satisfying. Overall, I just like this set. I think that it is fundamentally good. You can argue about the price a little bit, but it's within the range. Thank you for watching. Talk to you again soon.